Okay, now, next, off balancing. And again, this could be an entire foot sweep, but we're not using it as a foot sweep right now. I'm using it as a, just a way to loosen things up a little bit. So I'm right here, I'm moving around. I'm watching that foot, watching that foot. And I'm just going like this, just getting them to step. I'm not trying to over exaggerate it so he knows I'm trying to get him to step because then he's going to stop. I'm just moving, getting him to step. That's it. I was off balance. Now the position's off. That's all I cared about. I don't care about the throw sweep, anything. It's just off balancing. So I'm not, I don't have to set it up like it would maybe a normal sweep where I'm really stepping and pulling and blocking, being a little bit more subtle with it. Moving around, maybe I have a high underhook, maybe I have a low underhook. I'm circling. See how in a circle? He's just stepping. <laughs> he goes, he goes. If he doesn't, he's tripping. Or just knock him off balance. Boom. Watching that foot push forward. Watching that foot push forward. Like that. That's it. Now his body's in a position where I can use this underhook. So all I'm trying to do is get him from this solid position up here. So his hips are a little bit back and his shoulders are a little bit forward and he's on the balls of his feet. So it doesn't have to be a sweep. If you get one, you get one. I'm not gonna complain. But remember, sometimes your goal is just to get a better position to do the attack that you really wanted to get, right? So in this case, it might be a single leg, it might be a hip throw, it might be a running knee tap. We're gonna have a bunch of 